representing Hong Kong, China, Mai Zi Hui Ching Ma. Oh my gosh, I was 16 years old at the time. I'm so chubby. <laughs> so this is a triple flip. Definitely one of my like favorite jumps too. Triple loop was one of my more like consistent jumps, so I was very confident going into that one. I was actually so happy here <laughs> because I finished all my jumps. Yeah, representing Hong Kong. <laughs> Macy Ma, a former Hong Kong figure skater, won a silver medal at the Reykjavik International Games 2016 in Iceland and holds seven Hong Kong champion titles. I guess figure skating was never like that big of a sport in Hong Kong and like, you know, like tennis or like basketball, whatever. It's hard to build an ice rink because you need like certain amount of space because it's bigger. You need a certain amount of space. You need a certain amount of temperature to support an ice rink. I guess that's one of the reasons why there are not a lot of skaters in Hong Kong because it's actually pretty hard to get in touch with this sport. There are seven licensed public skating rings in Hong Kong, according to government statistics in 2021. And according to a report, Beijing, the city where Macy first started skating, had 72 active skating rings in 2019. So I guess a really memorable moment for me would be my first ever international competition. There were a lot of other skaters from around the world and I was really excited to meet them. We were introducing ourselves. I said, hi, I'm Maisie, I'm from Hong Kong. And they just really gave me this look like, oh, like you're from Hong Kong. I guess that really got to me and hearing that gave me motivation and grit to like pretty much do better than everyone because um, I needed to prove that we have good skaters in Hong Kong and so in that competition I actually did very great. So every single time I go to a competition I see the Hong Kong flag, it really like gives me the motivation to like train harder because we're recognized as you know good skaters now and I guess like when good skaters compete internationally and they have better like um, results then obviously um, people are more aware of the sport so that's why I'm very glad that over the years I've competed also like a coach, I really hope that in the future like my students can compete at a you know at an international level to show that we also have good skaters that are upcoming and they're doing better and better. Therefore, you know, Hong Kong skating is a bigger deal. There are two new ice rings opened up in Hong Kong in 2021, both of which meet the international size standard of a ring. More people are registered as members of Team Hong Kong. And in 2021, a record number of young people registered for the youth team of Hong Kong. As a result, Hong Kong's skating team qualified for more international events and achieved better results. So although I was a former athlete of Hong Kong, um, I'm always very involved in sports and I love all sports, not only figure skating. In the Olympics, I wish the best for all Hong Kong athletes because I know the amount of pressure they must be going under. COVID have really messed up the training and competition plans. So I really wish them the best and hope they have a smooth, successful journey. In Olympics, I'll be cheering from home in Hong Kong. So good luck.